Hello everyone, it's me A summary welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial and today I'll show you this type of triangle logo and I'll show you the easiest way how to make this one in Illustrator 2022. So let's get started. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. Going to the file at first, going to the taking new options, 10 inch by 10 inch or you can take this one 14 or 15 by 15 whatever you do want i just mean over here i want to take the square shape then try logo or triangle logo whatever it is and the color mode should be rgb because of i want to publish it in a web or you can take this one into cmyk if you want to print it out or go to the jersey print out or whatever or wherever it is and hit the create button and after that you can take the shape from the polygon tool and here I'll take the three because of I want to make this one into like this that means the triangle I'll make this one by triangle so press alter option button and just copy this one and pressing the shift and hold it and after that selecting all the stops making this one into like turn of the uh, fill color only the stroke color so here press ctrl or command d d and d that's good and press alter option button and press the shift and hold it now you are getting the intercept option now i'll make this one reverse and after that making this one copy by pressing alter option button and then turning it to the flip okay that's good and now copy this one and press ctrl d d and d and d okay that's good selecting all the stuffs making it group and placing it into middle after that going to the shape builder tool taking color like this and then you can do all the stuffs at first i'm just filling it up like this okay you can make this one smaller so i'll make this one smaller like this and then like this that's good and now i'll take this one actually like this and this that's good and now going to the here the uh, here the magic one tool select all the stuffs actually in a line you the line will select and delete all the stuffs after that selecting all the uh, place or the object and turning off the stroke shift and rotate this one that's good making this one smaller nice and making this one group that's good and now going to the text tool typing something over there making this one 60 or 48 percent is good taking font pop-ins that's good and giving the title like lunar photo that's good and you can make the space between two letters like 200 and 48 should be 36 that's good and making this one into the middle of the artboard okay press ctrl or command g and middle of the artboard that's good actually that's good right press and ungroup this one press alter option button and copying this one and making this one into divided by 1.6 and making this one into the light font and the alignment should be middle that's good and slogan here should be right down over here okay you should make the proper alignment like this and all the stuff should be into the middle alignment making group and like this okay i have a mock-up i downloaded this one from freepick.com and i'll place this one into this mock-up here is smart object double press over there it will open up a new window and hit the ok button if any kind of message shown okay here i'll place over there turning off this one and only i'll take the triangle or you can take all the steps so if you take the triangle you will get the more uh, depth over there and press ctrl or command v should be pixels and making it a little bit bigger and here it is the measurement and i'll keep this one into middle of the 
round rectangle or round square and controller command s it's saving this one in this new window and it it could be take uh, time for loading and it will provide you the final output here you are getting the like logo like that here one thing is that you should make this one going to the blending option and gradient overlay here is some gradient i'll using here the purple so it could be and hit ok and then save this one if you save this in this window it will save into the previous window that's the advantage of using like uh, the smart object or mock-up so here you are getting like that or if you want to change the gradient here is the options to purple like the soft type purple yeah and hit ok press ok and saving it out you have that assumption to change the color when you are going to this to this and to and finally you are getting the output like that if you want you can save this one going to the file and going to the save as options and save copy as whatever or whichever do you want and jpeg format and you can save in your directory suppose in this portion giving the name try logo that's good and then hit ok the jpeg version is saved now we'll treat this one this one we should make another copy or another version because of we want to use in our other assets so here already just making copy this one and after that i'll make this one white color okay that's good and then taking another rectangle or uh, actually the square shape and i'll make this square color black and sending into the back layer that's good and controller command 2 for lock i'll lock it up because of i want to uh, export into png right press and export selection here png means the transparent background actually 01 the logo 01 and i'll save into my directory over here choose here that is the png format or you can go to the pixel or resolution uh, 72 pixel i'll make this one 100 pixel that's good and export that so it will be the white one and this one will be the black one so right press same options and that would be the zero two and same export the asset i'm getting here two logos over there if now i want to place into my photo what should i do going to the file and open up suppose i have some photos or photographs suppose uh, any sort of uh, photographs okay this jpeg photograph could be okay now going to the file and place the mirror options and where i saved the here export i'll take the white one and making this one a little bit of bigger and placing over there okay if you want you can change the opacity down or up that's good or you can use over here you can use into the middle so wherever you can want and then now you can save your photographs into jpeg and with logo you can rename your uh, files like with logo and hit ok and then hit ok now you're getting the jpeg file uh, let's see the jpeg files what should be or uh, what we got the output over here here with logo we are getting the image like that and here we are getting the jpeg files actually png files which is the transparent background and here is the eps triangle logo or uh, you can save this one into ai or eps when you are just saving this one be careful the font should be the outline or you can do the package over there so file and package is now over there so going to the package options and now i'll package this one and package it up and show the package in the package the eps file and the font is over there and you can install the font and here is the text logo all the information of your file over there be preserved 
okay that's all for today if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video is i'm signing out stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye